Take my bride, let's go for a ride in my new fangled automobile. Just where we will go, nobody knows, but it's sure a great way to feel. Behind the wheel of the speed me to steal, it's my new fangled automobile. Well, hello and welcome to Vintage Car History. I'm Wild Bill. Of course, you know Gary Usser here uh, over at the Canton Classic Car Museum. And look at this car behind us right here. Yes. This is 1914 Case Model 40, I believe. Right. And this is a very special car. What, why is this car so special? This was invented by J.M. Dorton. He was an inventor. Certain things he did was one was human eye, headlights. You could turn them. With the wheels, with the steering wheel, they would follow. You could manually turn them side to side, and they could also move up and down. Just kind of like the human eye. Well, this is 1914. 14. I, mean, I mean, yeah, I, I recall, you know, Tucker in, you know, 47, 48, yes, when right. was doing something like mm -hmm. that, but this is, you know, 30 years even before that, right. he was doing this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Keep in mind, you know, a lot of stuff has been invented way before we even think it was, or tried, and then people thought it was not a good idea, then they quit. The new cars now, some of the Mercedes, the headlights turn mm -hmm. with the wheels. New improved, 2023. Yeah, 2023, and here it is, 1914. 14, correct. <laughs> so, virtually, a yeah. lot of stuff is not new. Yeah, and, and uh, John, uh, John Dorton himself, fascinating man. Okay. Um, and he's in a place. Yes, I never met him. I, I never met okay. him. Okay. Oh, are you sure? I mean, yeah, I thought you were really know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, as I recall, he's uh, he was an upholsterer, uh, upholstery I, salesman or something yeah. like that. He was born in Wichita, Kansas, 1874. Um, ended up in Bonner Springs as, you know, in, in working his inventions. I mean, if you go to the patent office, you'll find dozens, uh, over Is that right? a yeah, dozen of his. Right. The human eye, this, and yeah. we're going to see that working here in a second. Right. As well as um, he did something similar for uh, airships, for dirigibles. Okay. And he invented, he patented that as well. Okay. He patented the uh, heated cushion seat. Seats. Yes. Okay. This car has heated he seats. Seat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and the, the cushion air ride that you see in, you know, in big rigs and such and semis right. and things. Right. He, in, he made the patents and started that whole type of uh, seating arrangement right. for vehicles. Um, then he also used, the, I guess we'll get into that later, mm -hmm. the, uh, to promote his vehicle. Mm -hmm. the, the guy was a salesman. Yeah. There's no doubt he about it. Mean, he was a salesman. Yeah. And so this car we're looking at right here, this 1914 case, uh, Model 40, uh, he used the case. Why he did, we don't know. Yes, I don't know. Uh, we don't know. It started like as a sedan. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Because case didn't make right the this type of vehicle. Case. Correct. Uh, so he rebodied the car, is so to speak. Yeah. Or at least he was heavily modified it. And then he, you can see there's a Kawaii sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's another serious modification. Yes. You have the seating modification. You have the lights. This. Um, what what he was inventing was he was way ahead of his time, unfortunately. Right. You know the industry wasn't ready for what Correct. he was doing. For what was coming on. Yeah, but let's let's take a serious look at this car. Yeah, and first of all, this type of lighting really wasn't even. It was a lighting when at the time people were using carbide generators and light, kerosene. Right. You know, so we have electric lights. Right, and, and, and electric lights were not common. They weren't correct to this. I mean, right. I mean actually, I, I, I think it was uh, Columbia that first did that in 1998. Yeah. Right. But electric lighting was not common. Common, no, it was it not. It was not common, so this, this was special. Let's, let's, let's take a look at how this human eye works. Okay, okay. First of all, you can engage it to make them turn with the steering wheel. When you turn the wheels, the lights would follow. You can also manually, while the car is sitting, turn them left to right. Mm -hmm. Then up and down. Here's the lever for up and down. Mm -hmm. This is a lever for 
side to side. And then you have, an, then you can lock out. Then you can one. lock it out with this. Now it's locked out and it turns with the wheel. With the wheel. That is something serious. Yes. A lot of mechanism happening in there. Right, and then you have the seat itself. And I meant, mind you, this car has never been restored. It is a 1914 case in original condition. This is a heated seat. Yes, it's under there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the heated seat, and it has its own cushion right You Notice that it says right here. Courtesy lights, combination cushion, specifically his design. But the other side of the car has got something really cool. Let's take a look at that. So I understand that when uh, John Dorton came to town with his new car, he wanted to get people's attention. And this is where he did it. You have a calliope. Now, the Calliope still works, but it's a very rainy day today in Canton. We're not going to fire the car up. I mean, but this is still a running yes. automobile. Yeah. I mean, it does work. We're just not going to play it. But that Calliope powers these pipes on the side of the car. So that as he rode into town, as he drove the car, he or his wife could sit in the passenger seat and play songs and he would actually do this he would go to a town and sit there and have the car in the plaza run it play the calliope while showing the lights moving around and the seats look under it oh my word look at what's happening underneath this calliope look at all of because this is all running off of the exhaust of the car and this is how it's being routed to actually power the keyboard. I mean, how crazy is that? How crazy is that? But that's what a salesman does, don't they? They want to sell a product, you build a car to do it. Courtesy Lights Combination Cushion, 1914 case, John Morris Dalton, inventor, put this together. And you want to see a car, and I'll tell you what, we're at the Canton Classic Car Museum, okay? So, th th this, this, not just this car, there's a gazillion cars here, and this is just one wing of the place. If you haven't gotten here yet, why have you not done so? Look, look, I mean, look at how we have the headlights set on this car right now. It's, it's, it, he's pouting. He's going, yes, will you come and need to visit me, please? <laughs> Gary, thanks for uh, giving us this time to just check out this really awesome car. Uh, wow. You know, there's all kinds of little orphan cars out there that yes. are modified. I mean, you've got, uh, you know, you got the famous Swan car and, and yeah. things like that. But this is another one of them in original condition. Incredible what you can find here at the Canton Classic Car Museum in Canton, Ohio. If you have not got here yet, what's stopping you? Get here. All right? You heard it from me. Swild Bill. Peace.